in my you know in my book the the story of my apprenticeship starts with a calling to go down to peru in the early 2000s and um i think i'm crazy basically i i don't know what's going on there's no real frame of reference for this you know there's like some castaneda books out there and there's a few people who are writing about shamanism and stuff like that at that time but I don't think like I'm crazy insane. I just think like this is a crazy journey to follow these these visions and that, you know, they're very prophetic. They say that, you know, within 90 days, I'm going to find an apprenticeship and then I'm going to ultimately be trained in an Amazonian lineage. And I think, how could this even be possible? Why me? It's not something that I think is great. I'm not really like even, you know, fully understanding how to embrace this. So I think, okay, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. But I don't think it's actually going to happen. And funny enough, it, it turns out exactly like the visions showed. So I end up going to Peru. I end up backpacking around. I end up in the Amazon and I end up in my first ayahuasca ceremony and the visions in the ceremony show me that I had found my apprenticeship. They don't tell me what's going to happen in the apprenticeship. They just say I had found it. And uh, ultimately what happened was, you know, I got crossed over into the, the world of the apprentice, which is very different than just participating in a ceremony. You you go into the into the apprenticeship itself you get fully embodied in it you get crossed over a threshold in the visions that you're now in this apprenticeship it's a it's its own state of consciousness and um and then the the teachings come through the visions themselves so the elders are there to you know help keep you alive and support you along the way but ultimately it's it's your journey and it's through that journey that you you know you learn and so in part 1 and part 2 of the the of my books that tell that story i you know I, I walk everybody through what it's like to end up in the amazon and and have those experiences we go through the first exorcisms i ever did we go through um uh, you know different healing journeys where i i had i was just presented sick people and you have to heal them or babies and you have to heal them right there uh different ceremonial experiences different dream experiences where uh you know, some of them are very beautiful and some of them are pretty harrowing and you, you survive them, you get through it. And uh, yeah, it's a real joy to be able to share those uh, stories through the nature of these books. And I'm really looking forward to the comments that we'll get on them. And so, yeah, one more month and they'll, they'll be ready for everybody.